Hello, my people. Welcome to the SCORE channel and welcome to my hometown, the city of Pittsburgh. I arrived in Pittsburgh just in time for the first day of classes at the University of Pittsburgh. I wanted to hear what actual students thought about the university, so I talked to 10 students to hear what they had to say. Let's meet our people. I'm Christina Casper. I'm a freshman. Well, my name is Joseph Dolbach. My name is Maeve Goldstein. Hi, uh, my name is Dallas. My name is Victoria. Hi, my name is Claire. I'm Chris Matthews. I'm Casey. Price. Peyton. Biology, pre-med. I study political science and economics with a minor in philosophy. Bio, maybe something like pre-vet. Linguistics, um, Italian, studio art, and global studies. I'm actually a chem major right now. I'm a first year engineering student. I study Italian, uh, linguistics, education, kind of lots of different things. I'm getting my master's and PhD in French studies. I'm studying business here. I'm studying English writing and potentially gonna double major in education as well. Just like how great they are in the sciences, I've always heard that and um, I love the city when I visited so I really thought it would be a good fit for me. Really enjoy the campus and everything. Pretty much the campus, this area, all the different aspects, there's the city and the classrooms and just how beautiful the buildings are. Even though it's like a big school, everyone kind of seems like a family. I mean, I love the city. I think it's a beautiful place to grow up and a beautiful place to study. Um, I mean, we literally have a building called the Cathedral of Learning. The Italian department is wonderful. Um, everyone is so passionate about what they are teaching and that really makes the whole experience a lot better. Basically, I actually got a decent chunk of scholarships from Pittsburgh and it gave me the opportunity to go out of state without breaking the bank. Here, you already know everybody. It feels like the school is really big. But honestly, the campus isn't as overwhelming as other schools. You can, everything's very accessible and you are able to be in the city without being in the city like other schools. Like NYU is smack dab in the middle of the city. We get to be outside of the city but also get free busing through all of Pittsburgh. So if you want to have that city life, we can go do that. I had some other options, but the in-state tuition and scholarship and honors program definitely drew me here. I think the idea of being in a city was really exciting to me. Hershey's kind of a small town, so I was looking for something different and it just seems like a lively, diverse community, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to being a part of it. I really, I mean, obviously like, the cathedral is beautiful. Um, I really like the people here. They just are always willing to like go have a picnic or like do whatever, um, explore the city. And I've had really great professors, especially in the Italian department. It's been, they're all so sweet and down to earth. So I really like that. I really like the city, the campus, and all the cool programs that Pitt has to offer. So I'm excited to learn this year. Uh, Pitt's just a, it's just a nice school. I like being in the middle of the city. Everything is within walking distance. So I can just, you know, walk 10 minutes from my dorm and have a whole bunch of restaurants available to me. And also, I think my favorite thing about Pitt is the people here. Um, Despite being online, my first year I've made a lot of really close, good friends. Um, I'm in, involved in quite a few different clubs. Um, I am an officer in one of the clubs, actually. Um, and I just feel like welcome here, you know? It's going well so far. A couple of my classes are virtual, but they should be in person, all of them soon, and I'm really excited. I'm a sophomore, so this is my, I actually just had my first in-person class a couple minutes ago. So how's it feel? Like I'm an actual college student. <laughs> yeah, you had to wait a year to get that experience, huh? Yep, yep. I'm waiting for my first class. Uh, it starts in about half an hour, so I don't have any experience yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I only have one class today. Um, it was an 8 a.m. lab, and it got canceled. So. My class is done starting until Monday. So a successful first day, I yes, guess. Yes, I you think. Didn't screw anything up. Yep, yep, <laughs> pretty much. really come visit as soon as possible like coming here and realizing how beautiful the campus was and how nice and genuine the people are really made it like such a good fit for me I thought and I'm really liking my experience so far it's my first day of classes I originally didn't plan on going to Pitt uh, I came and visited the campus and kind of fell in love with everything here and at that point I kind of knew that's where I wanted to go so I would encourage you to kind of get out if you're applying and come see and actually like realize how beautiful of a campus we have and how great of an atmosphere it is here. Write down everything that you did in high school. Don't leave anything out. Um, get involved. Um, every little thing matters. Speak your truth. I would say apply early. I applied um, pretty early and then found out and I was like cruising for the rest of it. Don't stress, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> apply anywhere, honestly. Don't 
don't not apply somewhere because of money because honestly at the end of the day there's probably a chance that you will get a better financial aid package than you think you will and at the it just doesn't hurt. I'd say start the application early. I think one of the main reasons that I liked the PIT application was because it was rolling so I found out that they got in pretty early. So definitely work on it early and be yourself in your essays and that's probably the best advice I would give. Come in with a very open mind because I went into my undergraduate experience thinking that I was going to be an actor um, and that did not happen. <laughs> um, but it's okay to change your mind and follow other passions so as long as you come in with an open mind you can you can really do whatever you want. I would just say visit, cam visit the campus, see what's about, see if you like the fit and go Pitt. I, I'm trying to remember what the Pitt application was like. <laughs> I applied to many colleges. Um, express yourself. That's really generic advice. Let me explain. At, at Pitt, there's a really wide variety of people. This is a very diverse, large place. Um, and you will find your niche. So don't be afraid to you know, show off the aspects of yourself that you think are weird. Um, that, oh, no one else is going to like watching cartoons like I like to. You're wrong. No one else is going to like D&D as much as I do. You're wrong. <laughs> that sort of thing, you know, just, just don't be afraid to put that out there, uh, especially in your application, because Pitt likes people who are, you know, go-getters, usually. Um, or just, I don't know, just be yourself in, in every sense of the word and um, have fun with it. <laughs> the essays are pretty fun. Okay, better advice. <laughs> um, well, one of the things I really love about Pitt is that there's so many options. So my advice for applicants would be to seriously dig through the course catalog, look around. There's really something for everyone. We have over like 25 different languages taught here, which was one of the main reasons I wanted to come here. Um, and all of the teachers are so passionate about what they do. Um, so you really can't go wrong. Subscribe to the channel because next week we have a university episode for Pitt that you don't want to miss. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, ciao. <laughs>